guys welcome back to my channel it's Nisi from Nisi's niece so today this will be like a progressive video because actually um, next week Tuesday we have our Chinese oral exams this is a part of how we take our Chinese exam so you have the oral and you also have the actual exam however this semester is a bit different our Chinese teachers seem to want to stress us out a bit more than usual so we have orals a mock exam and we also have our actual exam um, this is the last semester in which our exams will be online but our mock exam will be in person at um, where we actually go to sit our exams. So yeah, so this video will be on our oral exams and Romy is my partner, so in class, so we'll be just going through like different chapters of our textbook and just trying to relay the information so that come next week, Tuesday, we'll be able to present in front of our teacher, our Lao Shi, fluently and just with ease, so yeah. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. It's future Nisi. So basically, the essence of this video is that at this period in time, Romy and I will be practicing the different um, chapters in our medical Chinese textbook. So we'll be going through various diseases that are commonly known like cholecystitis, high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, pneumonia, uh, a lot of different um, illnesses so that's the essence of the course that we have called medical Chinese and basically what we do in medical Chinese is learn these different things we go through the disease itself and the symptoms of it in Chinese of course the symptoms the tests that need to be run and finally the treatment so basically it's a book and it has like different patient cases and stuff like that and that's what we we will be going through like how to answer these questions so we're just feeding off of each other and asking each other like uh, how do you treat this disease or we're asking each other like can you list some of the common symptoms of this particular disease so basically that's what you're seeing or that's what you will see yeah so i hope that that clears the air for everything and hope you enjoy this video it's just a new perspective on you know what it's like learning chinese but specifically learning medical chinese <laughs> Analysis. I mean, the most important part is to have a general understanding of what the condition is. I mean, try to speak from here. You're not going to remember everything, um, especially when you're talking. What comes to your mind, you just try to build up on that foundation. So here I'm again reminding you that before this video ends, please don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. I see you guys watching. Thanks so much. And I would just like to remind you, please subscribe so that I can continue on in this journey, just sharing my experiences here in China and hopefully for the <laughs> duration of my life. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. All right, so chapter two was on Xiao Chuan, which is asthma. Um, as you know, a lot of people have asthma. So. <laughs> But however, you might find that the symptoms in this are a bit different from what we know in the Western world that has <laughs> Yeah. So, you have a little bit of a problem. You also have a little bit of a problem. You also have a little bit of a problem. You also have a little bit of a problem. 
为什么你认为这个是激情创业的这个饼是激情创业因为它的那打扁的颜色也有核心服务统统还有它的打辣扁的时候打扁像水杨水杨饼所以我觉得这个饼是激情创业 Hey guys, so here we are practicing again for our exam. Yeah. Tell me your favorite thing about this dish. Uh, it's very soft. Uh, it's very soft. 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 The exam, I did go through some study sessions with Tiger, so I just want to say thank you. Um, like we did the same thing essentially, but with Romy, I did the textbook um activities, and with Tiger, I did the um ppts like the information that was on the ppt and stuff like that so thank you so much <laughs> yeah um and it was just a good productive day i i'm making this video to show you guys that like in starting anything it's very hard you know you feel like you don't know a lot you feel like um like you're slow sometimes <laughs> i have to drill the information as you guys would have seen me walking around countless times like say you know saying the things over and over and over again everything is practice um chinese has definitely taught me this and it has bled over into <laughs> my medical studies like everything is practice and you know don't beat yourself up about it but keep on pushing keep on driving towards your goal because you will start off you know it will start off hard it'll be hard you'll feel like you're not progressing but you can do it others have done it before you and i'm here to encourage you that whatever the task ahead of you is if you just stay committed to it that you can definitely succeed this is the day of my orals um you guys have seen the preparation that i've put in and now it's time to finally do it um, we're not sure like what question she'll ask us or what we'll be getting but I'll still be practicing, still studying until she tells me it's my time to go in. So yeah, give you guys the feedback after. <laughs> Alright guys, I did my exam and it went great so yeah, thumbs up for that. <laughs> I just did my exam and it was good.